Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 13th of 2021 and as we get closer to the release of the Book of Boba Fett on December 29th, a lot of fans are really anticipating of what's to come for John and Dave to really introduce Robert Rodriguez's work on, of course, the Boba Fett series that's going to eventually tie directly into The Mandalorian Season 3 and other Star Wars TV shows out there. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at Mike01. If you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there, I do post a couple of entertaining things on there from time to time and interact with you guys further. So now that we are approaching the Boba Fett series, we're also getting ready for the introduction of the Kenobi show and the Ahsoka Tano series is going to begin filming by April of next year. A lot of the sets are being built for that, as well as including Luke Skywalker and Grogu into the story. There really is a lot of work when it, by, by the way, comes to the character of Grogu. And apparently, they will be incorporating that character into the Boba Fett show in different ways. That's really going to kind of give us more revelations about that character. And looking back at what John and Dave had crafted, when it all came down to The Mandalorian Season 2, if it weren't for the cameos that we got in that show, I'm not quite sure if it would have really given them the opportunity to really kind of spark all of these new TV shows like Ahsoka and Boba Fett, etc. So with that being said, of course, what's really all the more exciting has everything to do with what Jon Favreau has been up to behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm and exactly how it involves a particular Star Wars TV series that has recently been canceled by Jon Favreau himself and what's really been happening for the past number of weeks to months over at Lucasfilm that is now leading to something completely brand new that the fans are about to witness. So with that being said, of course, with both Disney and Lucasfilm now focused on their new Star Wars TV shows like Star Wars Ahsoka and the Kenobi series, both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have been developing their new Star Wars universe moving ahead. However, it's described that creator Jon Favreau recently canceled a major Star Wars TV series that has been in development for some years now, up until recently due to many reasons. It's described that in order to make way for another new Star Wars TV show, the Star Wars series was originally greenlit by Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy some time ago, before this era was established and that now Favreau is described to be remodeling the High Republic Star Wars series to be more in line with what was seen in Star Wars Eclipse. Now further, it's noted that Favreau canceling Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars TV series was something that was approved by Disney CEO Bob Chapek for Favreau to do this on his own take on this particular era. Favreau is said to have canceled Kathleen Kennedy's project given that it was going to mess with the canon and the lore that he was preparing for a brand new Star Wars show that is of course going to be developed that takes place before episode one. Now, currently in response by Favreau of canceling Kathleen Kennedy's series of The High Republic, Favreau is now in the early development phase of what is best described as a post-High Republic Star Wars TV series that serves as a bridge of what takes place in between The Acolyte and Star Wars Episode One. This is for Favreau to create his very own era of Star Wars that also takes place before Episode One: The Phantom Menace, however will not be labeled as The High Republic. This is, of course, so that Favreau and Filoni can be creative as possible in order to create new villains, Jedi, and Darksiders at will in the new Star Wars show that will be announced at Star Wars Celebration next year. Now further, Kathleen Kennedy in the meantime has been very overwhelmed with Favreau's approach to not doing a High Republic live-action series and will instead be creating a post-High Republic era that will focus also on a brand new war and conflict that the Jedi will have to face. Favreau also plans to bring back fan favorite characters like Yoda in the new series in order to truly give fans something fun to look forward to. Now, John Favreau is described to also have a big plan to hire some A-list actors that will, of course, portray some of the new characters in this TV series that replaces Kathleen Kennedy's High Republic Star Wars show. Now, though Kathleen Kennedy is bringing back Yoda in the Acolyte series, Jon Favreau is planning to do the same exact thing with his new feature that is going to provide fans a younger version of Yoda slightly in comparison to what they saw in Episode 1. Favreau and Filoni also plan to have the tie-ins for this show that will deal with more backstory elements of Palpatine and Darth Plagueis, which will also be announced at Celebration of 2022. 
This is what Favre has been planning for months now and is finally beginning to do so in order to really complete his overall timeline of Star Wars. So let me just say one thing here that's absolutely important that a lot of fans need to know. Now given that he recently cancelled the big TV show, the High Republic TV series in live action form by Kathleen Kennedy, that says a lot because Favreau, what he ultimately was trying to do in the very beginning was that he wanted to create his own era that takes place before episode one and Favreau doesn't necessarily really believe in the High Republic, he's more so involved with the old Republic TV series and of course the feature films that are now in the early development phase, we'll get into that a little bit later. A lot of work is being done on that by the way, you can expect a lot of that to be unveiled at Star Wars Celebration next year as well, so keep your eyes open for May of 2022. But the thing about this brand new era that is going to take place in between the Acolyte and Episode 1 <clears throat> is very interesting. The fact that what they're really trying to do is that they're trying to really kind of create this new timeline that's going to serve as a post-High Republic series. And this actually comes just after Favreau cancelled the High Republic TV show by Kathleen Kennedy. Now, I think that this is great news. I think that not a lot of fans out there are all that excited for the High Republic era, at least the version of the High Republic series that we have seen in the books and the novels and the comics. What you're seeing in the Eclipse, t in the Eclipse trailer, I should say, is what the High Republic really should be more so like, right? Now, of course, that's just the video game cinematic, and that's most likely why they're making it more action-driven and more conflict-driven, because you can't have a video game without conflict. But when you look at the story of the High Republic at its heart, with the, you know, the books, the novels, and the comics, it's really not all that convincing, at least to me and to a lot of fans out there, because they really stripped away the concept of the Jedi and the Sith and dark side users going up against the Jedi, they took that away from the books, the novels, and the comics. And that's exactly what they're kind of introducing more so now in that Eclipse trailer that we got. I do suggest that you guys go ahead and check out the Star Wars Eclipse trailer. I think a lot of you out there will really enjoy it. But the fact that we have Favreau now embracing a post-High Republic era that's also going to deal with the origin of Palpatine and Darth Plagueis in the mix in the background that's going to tie themselves directly into Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. That to me is truly, truly exciting and we're going to learn a lot more about that at Celebration next year. And I've said this many times, Celebration of 2022, there is absolutely no doubt that this is going to be by far the best event since 2015, maybe even 2013 when Disney took over Lucasfilm, when they bought out Lucasfilm. I think that this is going to be the best celebration under Disney's wing, easily, no question, hands down. So overall guys, you know, I think that we're really in for quite a treat when it comes to celebration of next year. We have so many new TV shows, so many new Star Wars movies that are currently in the works that are really going to take fans by surprise and really kind of just give the fans something new to look forward to. So let me know what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments of Favreau canceling that show and creating his own post-High Republic TV show. That's pretty convincing, honestly, because Favreau knows what he's talking about. He knows everything that comes before episode one. So let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.